Hi there, thanks for joining us. We just wanted to quickly show you how you can use our digital resources with your students and um, still maintain a master copy of the materials so that you don't lose the information and have to re-download it again every time. So the first thing you're going to do, of course, is download the entire file from Teachers Pay Teachers and save it somewhere on your computer. I pulled out the teacher file for this particular resource and put it on my desktop just so I could easily show you. So you'll open the file and within the resource will be links for you to access the materials for students through Google Slides. So you can click on any of the links that say access materials here and you'll notice when you do that that it asks you to make a copy of that Google Slide set. So you want to make sure first and foremost that you are logged into the correct account, Google account, that where you would like to save the documents in Google Drive. And when you are ready, go ahead and make a copy. It takes a minute to load sometimes, but you'll notice now you can see it says copy of the cell phones Google Slides for students. So I want this copy that comes up to be my master copy. So I'm going to go ahead and rename that as cell phones master. This way I will always have all the slides in the slide deck when I need that to access them. And you can always go ahead and move this file to wherever in your Google Documents you would like it to be. And then click Save. So the next thing I want to show you is how then you would create a file for the students, specifically the one that you want to share with them. So you're going to go to make a copy of the entire presentation. And you can rename that copy to whatever you want it to be. I'm going to call it Cell Phones Student this time. So I know this is the one I'm going to be sharing with the students. And you can choose where in your Google Drive you would like to save this file. And then press OK. And you'll notice that I now have two tabs open in my browser. Slide this down a little bit so you can see it. Um, I have my cell phone's master, which was the one that we pulled up initially, and the copy that I made of the copy for the students. I'm going to delete everything I don't want my students to see. And you can just press command um, and hold it down as you're selecting slides and press the delete button. Sometimes faster than doing it one by one. If you ever wanted to make notes on a specific organizer, you can do that by adding in a text box and typing in anything that you wanted them to know. So teacher note, remember to include transition words between your paragraphs. So if there's something specific that you're having the students work on, you can write a note about that to, to the students. Okay, once you have that the way you want it, you are going to share this set of slides with your students in whatever way you do that, whether you push it out to them through a platform or whether you upload it, um, this slide deck through a Google Classroom or Canvas or something of that nature. So sharing with the students then becomes um, your next step. All right, we hope this was helpful for you as you navigate these digital resources. Happy teaching.